really enjoyed that track. It was great, really great stuff. And definitely up there so far with The Root of All Evil. I'll listen to Panic Attack right after doing this video. And I'll go also back to The Root of All Evil to really know which one is my favorite. We'll see. But uh, I can say that they were both my uh, two favorites of this album so far. So for a top three so far, I would say The Root of All Evil and Panic Attack in one or two i don't know yet and in the third position these walls we'll see if that ranking changed with the three remaining song on uh octavarium so stay tuned guys if you don't want to miss my reaction for never enough sacrifice songs and octavarium life can get to you guys people can get to you judgmental people can get to you guys and it's just so overwhelming um but this showed a panic attack, describing details and it was pressure, it was intense. It was um, very deeper, especially if you have panic attacks and anxiety, guys. So let me know how you guys feel about Dream Theater. This is on Images and Words. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Uh, you what know, drumming, I must say that first I, of yeah, pulsating, exhilarating. Exciting, incredible, fabulous, tremendous, jumbo, titanic, colossal drumming. Colossal. I'm saved because I didn't start headbanging because the head would come off. Yeah. It was non-stop. Luckily, we didn't try to go with the music because we would actually, it would be hurting. So, it was way too much. This was crazy, crazy and crazy. Awesome. This is all about the music wow. of Dream Theater. Oh. Incredible, incredible, incredible. You pick any player, any musician in the band, all of them had a fabulous role to play, a wonderful role to play in this song, Panic Attack. The drumming was, I mean, I don't know if I've heard drumming of this caliber before. I have in Metallica's one. But that is it. That is it. This was pulsating drumming of a very, very high caliber. Upper crust of the upper crust drumming. All right. I have a new favorite Dream Theater song. It's that one. That is killer all the way through. So good. Sometimes, in my humble opinion, Dream Theater meanders a little too much, just for my taste, for my liking. I mean, they are fabulous musicians, obviously, but sometimes they can go off and kind of lose a little focus on the song. To me, that didn't happen here. It was solid. The bass playing on here is so good. He is such a phenomenal bass player. And... Sometimes you don't hear it as much. Here, the bass was really in the mix where you could really hear it. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love this song. A um, little too much uh, keyboard action going on, but that's just my own personal bias against keyboards. Not really. I love keyboards, but the keyboard soloing, it's okay. Not my favorite, though. Anyway, the song though, the song is great, and this may be James's best vocal performance that I've heard. I loved his inflections in this. I really, really enjoyed his vocals in this song very much. Um, phenomenal song. Um, insane musicianship okay so whoa so much to talk about so before i talk about the music and the song let me uh take a look into the lyrics okay so the first verse says all wound up on the edge terrified sleep disturbed restless mind petrified bouts of fear permeate all i see Heightening nervousness threatens me. 
I am paralyzed, so afraid to die, caught off guard, warning signs never show, tension strikes, choking me, worries grow. Okay, so basically, to me, that is probably like the textbook definition of what a panic attack is. I feel like if you look into a medical a textbook of some sort, they the symptoms would probably be exactly listed as that first verse described. So yeah, clearly the lyrics had everything to do with the title of the song. What I thought was so amazing about this song was the instrumental yes i'm like a fiend for instrumental good instruments you guys know this by now the drums and the guitar there was a, a section of the song like i think it was five minutes in where it it almost sounded like the guitarist and the drummer were like battling each other like they were playing that crazy that it sounded like they were you know like in a competition or not in a competition but they were like literally just like the drummer was like din -din -din, and the guitar was like <laughs> like you know what i mean like it's like going at it and like almost battling each other and then a couple um like a minute in um i think another guitarist uh comes in and takes the spotlight away from the drummer and the other guitarist so it was really really cool what was going on with the instrumental i thought it was really dope and very well executed and i love how it almost felt like a panic attack honestly because the instrumental it really built up like as the song progressed like everything got even more frantic it got even more powerful and even more fast so i think that was very very smart and i would probably say that it's probably intentional um for dream theater to do that in this song so kudos to them i didn't have a problem with the vocals nice and clean um i do wish though there were some parts of this song where he um he kind of went into like a higher register you know what I mean? Like he, you know, but it was only for like a second. I think it would have been really awesome for him to show more of the versatility in his voice. Um, that would have been really, really cool if he could hit more high notes throughout the song and just show how um, versatile his voice is. I think that would be really, really cool. Yeah, so honestly, as I was listening to this song, I was wondering, did this song really have to be seven minutes? Because when a song is like this long, Sometimes I think and I'm like, okay, could it have been a three minute song and achieved its goal or did it really have to be this long? And so around like three to four minutes, I was like, okay, this is getting kind of repetitive. But towards the end, I, I, I concluded that, yeah, this definitely uh, was worth the seven minutes um, because really at the end, that's where everything was building up and building up and building up. And so... Yeah, I think it was a really solid song um, by Dream Theater. I would definitely love to listen to more of their music. As for the rating, I'd probably give this a solid 8 out of 10. Yeah, um, a solid 8 out of 10. I'm really interested to see what else they have. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next